Hey everybody, welcome back to the Flannel Channel. I'm Philip, and I'm glad you're here. I'm gonna take you along on a little adventure today, more of a vlog style, but uh, I have the opportunity to run over to Wisconsin for the weekend and do some pinstriping for Don Wood at DSD Transport. He's got a sweet Peterbilt and flatbed. He asked me if I would be willing to lay some lines for him just before Mid-America Trucking Show 2023 in Louisville. So I said, yep, let's make it happen. I don't normally do this kind of stuff. This is an unusual request, but I wanted to make this happen. So if you don't know who Don Wood is with DSD Transport, look him up. He's got some sweet, sweet machines that are known in uh, the trucking industry and especially the show truck circuit. Yeah, he's a heavy hitter. So this is gonna be a fun episode. I hope you'll come along with me. Let's put some miles on and head to Green Bay, shall we? All right, got some supplies. Let's make tracks. Good morning. After a good night's sleep and a shower, a little bit of breakfast, we're feeling great. So let's head over to the shop, meet the guys, and see this weekend's project. All right, here we are. Denmark, Wisconsin, just outside of Green Bay. DSD Transport. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. How you doing? Morning. Hey, morning, Don Wood. Hey, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet How you, you doing? Doing great. Thanks for coming out. This is Crystal. Crystal Garrett. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah. You guys have an awesome shop. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Thank you. Thanks for uh, coming out and helping us out. Absolutely, man. I'm honored to uh, to be asked by you guys. Yeah, no, I, it was you're I definitely my am. top choice. I've seen your work <laughs> at some of the shows and stuff we've been to, and you know, I, I said uh, it's not something that we ventured into before having the pin striping and stuff done. And uh, when we were sure. building this Matt's truck, mm -hmm. um, that was one of the things we said is we want that old school look with some pin striping on it. And I'm like. I gotta get flannel Phillips. I gotta get him, you know. And, Shoot, and, yeah. you're gonna make me blush, man. Well, that, that was, honestly, you were you were my top choice with that. Um, uh, you know, every every person has their own style, and yeah. um, you know, it, I just I I think yours and mine are, are they flow together. You cool, know? And cool. It's it's funny because I. You know, I didn't know your phone number or anything like that. So sure. I, I messaged yeah. you on Facebook and then you didn't respond. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I guess he's not interested. Oh, and so shoot. I actually messaged another pinstriper okay. and, and they didn't respond either. And I'm like, oh. well, crap, nobody wants to work with me, you know? So I'm Dang. like, this sucks. And then yeah. you had done a, a customer Jason Justy's truck. Yeah. And yeah. I asked him, like, hey, you know, like, did he like not you know like communicate with you or and he's like yeah. oh no you can't facebook you have to get a hold of him on the phone oh, and i okay. was like oh, oh well, no. yeah <laughs> no. so then I'm I gave, he gave me your number and i yeah. messaged and you were like right there and i was like oh cool. this is perfect <laughs> so, so in, a, in a way you know like i said we had messaged somebody else and they didn't respond either and then yeah. i went back to my first choice so it, cool. uh, it worked out and i was happy to see that so awesome yeah we're awesome. excited to have you here and we uh we really appreciate it it's gonna thank you elevate our project i feel well i hope so yeah hopefully it doesn't take it down a few notches well, you guys put a lot of faith in me i don't know <laughs> i mean the cool thing is if it does we can wave it back up exactly because <laughs> man i thought you had better taste right, than to call yeah. me if i'm your yeah. first choice right. yeah lower your yeah. standards yeah it must have been a rough night it was a little shaky <laughs> <laughs> so, I didn't drink too much coffee this morning, oh, no. so we're in good okay. shape. Yeah. yeah, it won't be the heart monitor lines. No, yeah, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully not. Cool. Well, let's uh, let's take a look at the truck. Sure, let's yeah. do it. Yeah, what we've got is a 2023 uh, Peterbilt 389. Okay. It's uh, 
Well, traditionally the 63 inch flat top, but now they call it the 72. Mm -hmm. um, basically we bought the truck, um, you know, ordered as bare bones as we can, obviously without the steel wheel on the front. We, we just finished painting. So uh, we had old stuff on to get it that way. But, um, cool. you know, we bought the truck. It's loaded, 565 Cummins, 18 speed, um, 325 rears. It's a 294 wheelbase, so it's it's a really nice truck. Mm -hmm. And um, we wanted to go with like the old school look to it, you know. So we uh, we swapped the double round headlights. We've got a different grill and screen and stuff going on it. Yeah. The old school painted cans. Um, we're gonna put the Dynaflex OG exhaust on it. Just kind of give it that old school feel and. Mm -hmm. We've done as much as we can as, you know, buying parts and putting stuff together to where, you know, now we need to push it over the top and pinstriping was old school, you know, it was yeah, cool. Yeah. And, um, you know, that's why you're here to finish it for us. Awesome. You're here to elevate that. <laughs> Very cool. Well, it, it's, it's starting with a beautiful canvas and that's part of what I love about it. it, it this is factory paint, factory color? Factory color. Um, okay. Yep. It's um, the body is all factory paint. Um, the frame and the accessories and stuff we repainted ourselves. Um, we uh, just wanted it a little better, I guess. So, yeah. So we uh, we redid uh, a bunch of that. Um, awesome. Done a bunch of work as far as you know. We're building it to take to mats, um, mm -hmm. you know, and so it's it's got to be nice. And mm -hmm. um, so I, I hope we're getting there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what uh, what colors were you guys thinking of using for the striping? Uh, well. Um, we're doing a gray button tuck interior in it. Okay. So we were kind of hoping to put some gray um, to pull that gray out of it, being that it's, you know, the, the body and the chassis and stuff is solid blue. <laughs> and then the engine and transmission is going to be the old school Cummins beige, um, like they came back in the, you know, the 80s. And so we're, we're, we're kind of leaning towards the, uh, you know, gray and beige. Um, we'd like to see how that lays out mm -hmm. and go from there. You know, if, if we... If we have to add a different color or, or change it up, you know, we're not set on that, but just my, my preliminary thoughts are to go with those two colors just so it doesn't get too busy with too many different colors, you know? Yeah. Um, and then I feel like being that we're trying to make it like that old school themed truck, those are kind of old school colors, you know, like a, a bright red or, you know, anything bright just doesn't scream old school to me. I feel like it needs to be like a toned down, you know, and, and that gray and beige, I feel like could do that for us. Yeah. Yep. Um, but again, you're the expert on this. Well, hey, <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah. If it was too many loud, wild colors and, yeah. and too much going on, yeah, it you just don't wouldn't want, fit like, the a bright yellow. You right. know, that's right. <laughs> this truck isn't, isn't quite made for bright yellow. Sure. Yep. Um, and but, sometimes less is more, you know, right. well, that's, yeah. being intentional about what you're putting on, yep. what you're, what you're leaving <clears throat> off. That's, just kind of giving cool. it that old vibe as yeah. well. Yeah. Awesome. So like you said, you know, we don't want to, you know, go on the whole, you know, every panel of the truck and whatnot, you know, we want to subtle accent it just putting some additional color to it and right. and and the artist creativity you know cool. of, of the the design and the lines and things you know that's always the cool thing about the yeah. old school pinstriping is each artist has their own identity i guess you'd call it mm -hmm. and and that's uh what i always like to look at is you know the color contrast grabs you but then you look at the things because a lot of artists hide stuff in it and you don't see it right away. You know, yeah. you actually have to look at what they drew because at first you're like, oh, yeah, it's some squiggly lines. And then you start looking and you're like, oh, shoot, I see a flower yeah. or, you know, whatever. And, yeah. yep. and so that's the cool thing about the pinstriping is, awesome. you know, they get to use their creative art and put it on, you know, a nice canvas. So Perfect. we'll show you guys what it is. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, why don't I start unpacking my stuff and we'll get to it. Sounds good. Yeah, All whatever right. you need. Cool. So I have everything set up kind of, and what we started to do is mix up a little bit of paint and find some things that Don really liked. We did a test panel here and uh, settled on these colors right here. And we also set up a little bit of vinyl that's gonna be on the dash panels and things like that because I wanted to see how the paint was gonna react to vinyl. So these ones right here gray and the Cummins beige. So, mixed up some Donwood beige now. So, ivory, some brown, a lot of yellow, some gold. It's one of a kind, and uh, that is his color now. 
So I wiped everything down on the truck and began going over a few areas with my pencil just to kind of get an idea of what Don was talking about, what he'd like to see on the tanks and around air cleaners, um, door handles, things like that, just to kind of start to visualize where he'd like some of the designs to go. And he's given me a lot of creative freedom on it, which is really awesome. So I hope to make him proud. All right, well, paint is mixed up, panels are wiped down. Time to get going on it. Um, you can see here we have some deck plate pieces. We're gonna have some design that's up in here that comes down over the waterfall and full deck plate. Don would also like me to do some pieces of the dash and the interior that are being vinyl wrapped right now. And so this will be vinyl and we're gonna go around the Peterbilt logo. We're gonna go a little bit on there. The uh, instrument cluster, there's a, a panel on the floor where the shifter goes, things like that. And we'll hopefully bring some of the exterior to the interior as well and tie the whole thing together. So that's the game plan anyway. Time to get the brushes going. So you'll see here one of the tools that really helps me a lot in bigger projects like this is a projector that via Bluetooth I can connect it up with my phone and I can project an image up onto the side of the truck. It helps me a lot with lettering, sign painting, and designs that I need to keep symmetrical and consistent. And so here we're using risky business style font and lettering like from the movie, but we changed it to business decision. And so um, what that helps me do is just kind of keep a consistent look over the entire project. And once the customer says, yes, I really like that particular design or that style, I can keep that going as a theme through the entire process from one design on one panel all the way through and keep it the same side to side and front to rear. And it's definitely one of those tools that uh, is super, super valuable to me. And uh, I really enjoy being able to utilize technology like that in a vintage style traditional artwork. It's so much fun. Well, so far so good. I'm really liking it. And uh, yeah, time for pizza. Got some break time, so it's awesome. You'll notice there's some subtle differences from one side of the truck to the other, mainly the door size being taller on one side than the other, but also the rivet lines are in two different places. So the projector definitely helps to keep the artwork in the exact same spot, side to side and symmetrical. And then because the crew is working so hard to try and get this truck ready to go for a Mid-America trucking show, they were willing to work on one side of the truck while I'm painting on the other. And uh, yeah, it was a big choreographed dance. It was a lot of fun to have happen on a busy Saturday afternoon. Oh, well, decided to make some changes here. You can see that uh, things were getting a little bit busy out here by the lights. I really wasn't happy with how it was turning out. And uh, so I decided to wipe some off. Go less is more around the center section. And uh, they're each individual and unique but they have a common look and thread and theme going through each one of them. 
Don was telling me that he would like to purposely leave the doors open and blank as well as the toolboxes because this truck will be for sale at the Mid-America Trucking Show. And the whole idea is that they want someone to drive this thing home. So that's a great idea. I love it. Uh, tomorrow, the plan is to pinstripe the underside of the visor. That's been painted blue as well. And then uh, the dash panels, uh, some of the uh, door pieces, the floor piece, things like that. So keep going. I like where this is headed so far. Uh, we had planned on doing the fuel tanks at one time, but uh, we're going to stand back and look at it tomorrow once both stacks are on and uh, we'll kind of decide as a team if the truck has enough striping on it or if we should add some to the center of the fuel tanks or not. So that's a possibility. If we do, we will probably utilize a design a lot like that. Similar, but wider, taller. So I'll do one there and then the other fuel tank is sitting over there. I'll show you, it has a cutout for the def tank. Uh, this is the stainless that's gonna go on the cab and underneath the uh, sleeper. So uh, some custom brackets have been made in order to mount the fuel tank. And uh, so he gave me some masking tape marks so that I could find center, things like that. So we'll see. Either those are going to stay blank or they'll get some stripes tomorrow. But, yeah, I'm digging it. All right, on the deck plates. Good morning. It's a beautiful day here in Wisconsin. Ready to head back to the shop and get this project all finished up and ready to go for Mid America. So I stayed till about 11:30 last night. Got quite a bit done. You kind of get in the zone, you know, and things were clipping right along. So I'm excited to uh, put the finishing touches on some of these pieces and uh, get after as much as I possibly can to uh, get it looking 100% finished and ready for the show. So. Yeah, let's hit it hard, here we go. Time for a quick lunch break. Things are winding down as far as the striping. We got deck plate, antenna, the interior's all finished. The guys have been working really hard getting stainless and chrome put on. The stacks are on. Yeah, it's really coming together. So happy with how things are looking, but I'm gonna join the crew, have something to eat. Hey. Don't Thanks for lunch, you guys. Don't forget to sell this for sale. <laughs> That's right. Oh, it's 
beautiful outside. I've been indoors for the last two days. It feels great. Spring is definitely here. So gonna pack everything back up in the car, get ready to hit the road. But uh, before I leave, the guys are gonna pull the truck outside and you'll get to see it a little bit more done. Now, again, it's not completely finished yet. There's still quite a few pieces that still need to get assembled and painted and polished. They're actually still gonna paint the engine. So the engine will come back out tomorrow, go into the paint booth, and they're gonna paint it Cummins beige to match the pinstriping, which is pretty awesome. So anyway, let's take a peek as they roll it outside and you get to see it in the sunlight. Big moment. My buddy Flannel <laughs> Phillips just did me up solid on my truck. Oh, <laughs> man, like is that, that how they talk here in Wisconsin? <laughs> I thought we were doing West Coast. Oh, like West Coast. Oh, it's right. West Coast paint job, man. Dope, yo. Hey, yeah, yeah. 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 We've we just been <laughs> kicking it back here in the States. <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, um, so, building our 2023 Matt's truck, and um, we're kind of going with the old school theme. Wanted to, you know, a little something different than what we usually do. And, um, so a lot of the accessories and stuff we went with, with a little bit more traditional old school look to it. And we wanted to do some pinstriping. And I've, uh, at various shows we've been to for the last couple of years, I saw F Flannel Phillip doing his artwork and, and I really liked it. Like, I feel like his style is very similar to my style and very similar to what I was hoping to get on here. And so we, uh, we brought him all the way from Minnesota to Wisconsin and, uh, for a weekend we converted him to a cheese head and uh he did his magic on the truck and i couldn't be happier it, it looks amazing you did a great job uh, thank you man i appreciate very it very good when you reached out to me it, it was just a huge honor well and i was like i don't know about that dude are, are you sure you want me like yeah. seriously i was like i don't know i thought you had higher standards yeah. than well they're, they're pretty high there, otherwise like... you wouldn't be here <laughs> they, yeah we definitely wanted somebody that uh wow. had a, a you know a good sense of it and, a, and their own style you know, and, sure. and because frankly, we didn't know what we wanted. You know, okay. we, we knew that we wanted the traditional old school pinstripe, but we didn't really know how to, to convey that out. And I sure. think as you were here and doing it, you know, we kind of grew into that, you know, and, and yeah. like, oh, you know, I don't really care for this line or that, you right. know, let's let's try this. And, and yep. we collaborated on it. Right. And it seems like it, it really came out well, like it's it's very tastefully cool. done, you know, cool. so um, it, as my favorite restaurant, delightfully tacky. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So well, I, I love traditional artwork, especially pinstriping and being a fan of it. I'm always going around at truck shows or truck stops or anywhere I'm at hot rods old traditional stuff and just taking photos and videos of whatever I see and sure. I like. So I tell people I'm a student of this and I just, I'm a huge fan of pinstriping. That's what made me want to start trying it sure. and getting into it. Yep. So I'm far from mastery, but I'm just kind of learning mm -hmm. as I go. So yep. this was cool. a really fun project to collaborate right. with you. And, and, and I think out. like you had said when you were doing it that no two projects are ever the same, you know? So it's, right. even though you go in there with ideas, it always evolves you know as as you start on each vehicle or or each piece that you're doing they all take a different feel right. you know and and like when we started this it started with 
you know, the, the scribbly lines and, and it kind of molded into a theme yeah. that we started to carry out through the truck and we didn't plan that. You know, it, it wasn't like I said, okay, Philip, this is what I want. I don't want anything but this. This is how I want you to do it. You just come and do it. We had no idea, right. you know, so you started, um, you know, just a little bit here and there. And then it was like, okay, yeah, that's, that's working. Let's do that, but add this. And, and then once we started kind of getting an idea of how we wanted it to go with the color layout and stuff, it was like, this is really starting to pull together, you know, and it's, and it's becoming a complete job. So, yeah. so it's, it's very interesting to me as a first time person doing this, how that happened. You know, how you start from sure. just a, a little, you know, cornered, you know, detail and then, okay, well, let's do this over here. And then you start pulling a little more and then you, well, we need to pull this here and, and it, and it really just evolves into a complete project. It was very neat to see. Sure. So, well, yeah. And it's a unique piece of art. Nobody else has anything like this. Right. Yeah. You know? It's one off. And, and so yeah. you're witnessing art in real time happening sure. in the moment. Yep. So, yep. yeah, for better or for worse, yeah, you know, it, that's that's yeah. how it goes. And sometimes it takes hours or well, days right. to actually get the, the full product out. But yep. that's just how these things go. Mm -hmm. And it's it's a yep. lot of fun. It, and it's it, it's <laughs> very personality wise, you know, yeah. like each, yeah. each person, whether you try or not, you start fitting it to their personality, you know, because they're telling you, I don't like this or I like that. And you're like, oh, okay, I, I kind of see where we're going with this. And then you elaborate from there. So it, each job is very personal, it you know? Is. So it's, you know, like when you go to a vinyl shop, you design the stickers and, you know, you, you, you know, see what it's like and it's cool, but then it's done and you stick that on and that's what you get. Where here you're like, well, you know, I'm going to swoop it this way and pull it down and, you know, and, and it's just different, you know, yeah. it's, as you do it, you get more involved in it, you know, and sure. I, I just feel like that makes it more personal, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's definitely kind of neat that way. So yeah, hopefully whoever buys this beautiful truck appreciates all the work this man did because, <laughs> uh, he put a lot of time into it and, uh, I think it really pulls the build up. Yeah. I really, I think it elevates the build. So we really appreciate that. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you're happy. Yeah, and I think great. whoever buys this truck and takes it home, it, they should be happy with it too. I hope. Yeah, that's, hopefully. That's my goal. And if you need it fixed, call Flannel Phillip. <laughs> he'll, right. he'll make it how you want it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right on, yeah. man. Awesome. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, Don. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I appreciate the opportunity. Oh man, what a blast. That was so, so cool. What an amazing experience. And I'm really, really glad that I did that. Again, huge honor to be asked to uh, be a part of that project. And uh, so, Don, Crystal, thank you for taking care of me and uh, feeding me, giving me a place to stay. And uh, man, that was a blast, really, really fun. So, I'm in the car, obviously, heading back home, all packed up, got uh, five hours to get back home, see the family, kiss the kids goodnight, and uh, we'll hit it hard at work tomorrow morning. So thanks for joining me this weekend, everybody. And uh, I hope it was a fun episode. Thanks for watching the end of the video. And uh, the flannel flock rules. You guys are amazing. Peace and grease.